Okay, so but today's task is we're going to carry out a leak off test on uh, the fate here. You would do this test if you had a suspect uh, faulty injector. If there was too much fuel leaking back to the fuel tank and uh, wasn't generating enough pressure within the system. Okay, so over here, first thing you need to do is you always need to refer back to your manufacturer's uh, data. So any technical information you can get, it's, in, it's important that you print off that and have that to hand. Next you'll see we have our leak off kit. Um, we're going to use the leak off test to check for to see how much fuel is actually leaking out of each injector. This pot can go from 1 to 10 uh, grams of fuel. We've got our noids. We're going to do a noids test as well. We've got our hand light to check. Obviously you need to make sure you can see what you're doing. We've got a couple of hose clamp tools to clamp the, the leak off pipe. You've got your general pliers. You've got your pick. A magnet if you drop the wee horseshoe that holds the, the fuel rail on. We've got a, our multimeter. We've got our leads as well if we're, when we're going to do our test to check for resistance. And then we've got our brack probes as well. Okay. Okay, so first thing you need to do is you need to clamp your leak off pipe. Now I'm going to get a section where I'm not going to be able to uh, cause any damage and all you do is you tighten in your clamp to restrict the flow of the excess fuel leaking out of the uh, injector leak off pipe when you're going to complete this test you must do this so there's no, the minimize the spillage of fuel okay so that's that clamp next thing you need to do is you need to come over to your your wee horseshoe clip that holds your fuel line on in place okay to do this here get a pair of pliers Clamp the wee clip and remove the clip. You'll have to do this to all four injectors. Also remember, you must always wear your PPE when you're dealing with fuel. Put your safety glasses on. Now, once you have your uh, horseshoe off, it's you just give it a gentle tug and you'll be able to remove the injector. There's seals on the end of these, these wee pipes. It's very important that you, you, you make sure the wee seal comes off with the, the head. When you're going to this next one, grab each side and give it a wiggle and then it'll pop off. Please be gentle when you're doing this because these can snap very easily. Give it a wiggle and then a tug and then the last one. Now, remove the line out of your road so it doesn't fall. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the pots, the leak off pots, to test for leak off. So now I'm going to set up my leak off test. So you have your lanes here. These part, this part here is going to clip into where we took off our leak off for the top of our injector. I'm going to place it in and you'll feel it go down and then firmly clip in. On this model here, there's four injectors, so you only need four leak off pipes to connect onto all four. Just give them one final check. Make sure they're firmly clipped in on the H injector. Now, what we're looking for here is we're looking to see of the four injectors to make sure that the four injectors are leaking off the same quantity of fuel off each uh, lane. If you run your engine for approximately one minute, you, you should have minimal fuel leaking off the each injector. If you were to come to say injector one and injector one had six milligrams of fuel, that would indicate that that injector is leaking six milligrams of fuel off. And if you compare that to the other three and they were leaking off one, I would say number one would be faulty. Now, we're gonna now start the car up.
So as you can see, we've run the engine for approximately one minute. All right. You can see that each of the four injector uh, pots haven't filled up any fuel. This is a good sign. This means that the fuel injectors are leaking minimal fuel back. Now, if you come to the lane, you can actually see that the fuel is just at the top of the lane, which this is what we want to see. This is a good reading, okay? Um, if, as I said before, uh, I came to one and one of these pots were overfilled or filled a lot more, that would indicate that the injectors had fell. Okay, so now we've done our leak off test, we've found that all four of our injectors are okay. If injector one was faulty, um, you would then have to remove injector one. There's a securing bolt to hold it down, there's a fuel feed pipe, you remove them. On this particular injector, you would maybe need to use a slide and hammer to remove this injector. Replace the C. Once the new injector's in, you then have to program the injector using your diagnostic equipment. When that's all complete, there's a few other tests you have to do. Um, if you if this didn't if this was inconclusive, um, the next video is we're going to do uh, a noise test. We're going to check to see and make sure each injector's getting the crack pulse and crack voltage down. We're going to check the resistance value, and then we're going to do a resistance.